Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Very short video here, a couple of top tips. Uh, I've recently done a video um, where I've transferred all my radio gear from the Jaguar, which has a problem, it's going into the garage, into my Saxo, which is where I am right now. And there was one thing, I, I, I managed it, no problem, uh, but I had a slight feedback on uh, through the uh, extension speaker when on the TX. So uh, what I did was I remembered something I did in the Jaguar and I've done the same here. So I'll show you that. And then <laughs> a couple of other things. The radio, the Fox Tango 891, FT891 by Yesu. What a fantastic radio. So here's a video, a quick video on, on this and one other thing that is absolutely brilliant. So the setup with the radio uh, and the radio head uh, where it sits down there and it runs through to an antenna switch where I can plug in my Moxon or any other antenna in there and instantly switch to do comparisons or whatever. It's also a handy way to uh, connect up another antenna without actually uh, <laughs> undoing stuff or moving, moving the minimum of stuff because the more stuff you move the more chance you have of problems. Now the feedback thing, I remember what I did in the Jag, I'm on a mag mount here, I'm on a separate battery. I'm on, uh, as you can probably hear, the noise of the, the engine, not just that, but the charger charging up the second battery. And everything is independent of the car, but I have earthed the coax here that goes to the radio, and I've earthed it to the car seat. What a difference. I did a, a, a little radio check just now with a fella in France uh, along the road from me there. Managed to catch him and he said the audio was perfect. The audio was perfect before but it was just irritating hearing my own voice coming through in a muffled form on the extension speaker that I have sitting down there. Right, so just a quick one on the earthing of things. I don't earth, I earth things at minimum. Uh, because if you're earthing something, you're sharing an earth with other stuff. There's a lot of disputes and a lot of arguments in it, but that's the way that I do it and I've never had a problem with it. This is just a little thing, earthing the connection of the antenna out of the radio. So that's it for today. The next thing I'm going to show in the lead out here is absolutely fantastic and a useful top tip for many of you. So thanks very much for watching. When I did that last video, I did explain that very easy to take this slot it in, have it in a useful place there. It also slots in here the same way as it did in the Jag and you've probably seen videos I've done of that. I have this on, it's on a GoPro mount, um, which is a GoPro display box mount and I don't use CDs in here. I use CDs in the Jag check this out and it does actually stay in place and it doesn't bother anything to do with the stereo. It doesn't move around or anything. It's fantastic. What a place. And a bit better than down there because down there I wasn't, it, it wasn't in the eye view and it was a bit awkward to be leaning down and stuff. That's absolutely perfect. It doesn't swing around when I'm driving. So, top tip for the day for an FT891. And as I say, it just uh, it works great. I think there's a little bit of prop today as well. Should be easy to rig up a camera for it too.